title of our project is Half the World, and in Arabic it's Nus Dunya. And um, the project is about uh, promoting gender balance uh, through breaking uh, typical stereotypes that we are facing in our daily life. Um, we did lots of activities in Egypt and in Sweden. Um, in Egypt, we uh, made a photo campaign that was launched on the occasion of the International Women's Day on 8th of March in 2015, accompanied by a blog post about the campaign and the project that was published on the Empower Women blog uh, that is managed by UN Women. We also um, did a workshop that was led by uh, Tiago Prata, my tandem partner from Tilt in Sweden. Um, and we filmed with several artists, activists, or cultural professionals who are interested in the topic, who shared their vision and their um, uh, future hopes in terms of breaking stereotypes related to gender. Forward, the other tries to help so that we move forward. Once, for the My name is Katerina and uh, I'm studying international journalism. I'm from Ukraine and for the last two years I've been working on the front line, uh, covering, um, helping foreign media to cover the conflict in Ukraine. And what I would like to say is that uh, the most thing that irritates me about female issues is that uh, when men, for example, on the front line, they always uh, tell me, um, you're a girl, it's not the, it's not the place for you. Uh, you should be at home, you should find a husband, because uh, war is not for you. Uh, and this is one of the biggest problems about uh, uh, jobs and professions that we need to occupy. So, I was trained as an actress, like, very long time ago, and I worked in national theater for two years, and after two years I said, Shakespeare is not everything what I want to do in my life. I mean, it's fun for some time, but not, you know, every day. So what happened was, it was really a random thing. I got um, offered um, um, to work on a new performance, which was, uh, text was written by Iranian writer, Siba Shakib, I don't know, probably you've heard of her, and she was writing a lot of what was happening in Afghanistan during the war, especially to win. Rafiq Bouhrifa, from Tunisia. Uh, I'm an engineer and political activist. Um, the stereotype that I want to end, uh, and very quickly, especially in our region, uh, is uh, the fact that civil society and, uh, and uh, people in general consider the political parties as evil. Uh, they don't want to. Uh, they don't want to uh, talk with them. They don't want to. Uh, establish a dialogue or build bridges with the, with the political parties and uh, they consider that they, they are 
just looking for their uh, own interest. Also in Sweden, um, we did a workshop in context of Womidan seminar 2016 with participants from very various countries from Sweden, Italy, Ukraine, Tunisia, Egypt, um, and Portugal. Uh, and other countries, the participants also shared their vision in terms of how education, media, and civil society can help changing the stereotypes. And they also did their own photos with their own messages. Some of them also participated in the video uh, and gave us some uh, insight on on their uh, um, on the stereotypes that they hope that they can change in the future. Um, I've been asked to comment on the stereotype that I would like to change. I think I'll go and I'll be rebellious. I'm a protester. <laughs> I will um, live up to my reputation and say that I, I want a certain stereotype to stay. I want to hang on to the, the whole idea of being an angry black woman, which has become uh, controversial. You shouldn't do that. Shut down, try to... Uh, you're supp I'm supposed to be like running away, screaming from this and trying to uh, act in a way which calms down the antagonistic white population. Um, my anger drives me. I love my anger, I'm keeping my anger, I'm going to stay angry and it, I'm going to keep shouting, I'm going to keep protesting um, because otherwise nothing will change. My anger is my friend. Uh, hello, I'm Cécile. Um, I grew up in France and I live now in Sweden and I've spent also some time living in North Africa. My stereotype that I would like to break is um, the feeling of many people that they are, or the belief that they are open-minded. Um, however, they are actually quite closed into their own group of open-minded people. For example, one thing that makes me really sad is that a lot of people in Europe, for example, think that a Muslim woman with a veil is um, oppressed woman. So I think as soon as someone gets aware of this stereotype, um, that they go and try to talk to someone who has a view and to see that it's to challenge, dare to challenge your stereotypes, be aware and invest in relationships and even with people who are not inclined to talk to at the first time and go out of your comfort zone. Hi. Uh, my name is Rasha Shaban. Uh, I'm originally from Alexandria, uh, and I'm working at the World Culture Museum in Gothenburg. Stereotypes. Um, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going to choose a different kind of stereotype, some kind of a devil's advocate. The fact that we as women, we have a lot of stereotypes about ourselves and also about men. Many, they see men as the reason why we are being oppressed and the reason why we don't have enough rights. And um, we, we, need, we really need to change this discourse if we want to, um, to reach the gender equality that we're all hoping for. Hi, I'm Julia from Ukraine. I represent Educatio, the youth NGO that works both nationally and internationally. And what I really, really hope, uh, the stereotype that we will someday break in Ukraine is that women can't have it all, like both the career and her family life. Unfortunately, in our countries, even the most successful women believe somehow that if they have a career, they have to sacrifice their family life. Or if they have their family, they somehow will need to give up their career. And I strongly believe that we can fight harder and we can actually change this mindset, first of all, for women themselves. So they would finally understand that it is possible to have both career and 
and family life. This is what I really stand for and this is I hope that we can change together in Ukraine. My name is Maria Tishenko. I'm uh, head of NGO board uh, and uh, I'm associate professor at Key National Economic University. And uh, we are a group of volunteers who uh, get together uh, for uh, organizing uh, uh, social effects uh, in Ukraine. And uh, uh, stereotypes which we have, uh, it's uh, uh, about gender budgeting, because uh, I want uh, in Ukraine to have uh, uh, equal rights for men and women and uh, equal uh, expenses, uh, budgeting expenses for men and women. I am Tiago, I work at Tilt in Sweden. I am a partner within Tandem with Ring from Egypt. And we work with creative processes led by artists to, to help communities or groups of people find their own creative ways to, to achieve change or to develop. My goal in the project was to try to bring this Swedish uh, perspective of giving people the tools, the instruments to reflect themselves, to express their creativity, to explore different perspectives of an issue. The work with gender was basically that, to, to try and, and get people metaphorical instruments to let them put themselves in the shoes of the other side if we are talking about different genders how do the different sides connect and relate to each other find a way to understand the other side in inside your body and you try to use poetry and performance and, and to get people to, to come out of their comfort zone ماشي في الشارع في مصر وانا مروحه من الشغل وسمعت واحده بتقول لي لمامتها آه ليه ماما مش عايزه تتجوزيني؟ فمامتها ردت عليها قالت لها على جثتي مش هتتجوزيك ده ابوه ميت وتربيته واحده ست يعني ايه تربيته واحده ست؟ يعني افرض ربنا اراد ان والده يتوفى حد ما عليا ان الست ما تعرفش تربي 